Hey y'all. So, I did a little Twitter poll and y'all said y'all wanted to hear the story about how my ex got his ex pregnant. So, that's what I'm going to do for y'all. This is my first story time. So, yeah. Okay. So, at the time he was my boyfriend. And let me tell you. Y'all, he was just, something was wrong with this boy. Like, he just always wanted to argue with me. And, like, he knew how to bring a side out of me that I didn't really like or enjoy. Yeah, like, it was just, I had a lot of suspicions with him in the first place. Like, like one time we got into an argument over this girl and he was defending her. And I was like... Um, it was basically like I knew she liked him and he was texting her and he was like, we're just friends. And I'm like, what you making new friends for? So whatever. But to get into it. So one day me and my homegirl, I was at her basketball practice and cause I was staying night at her house. So we just went, I went there with her or whatever, because she lived right down the street from where her basketball practice was. So I went there with her and I had drove, I had a car, so I drove her there and I just stayed and watched and I get this random text message no I skipped the part okay so he told me before all of this happened he told me like we needed to like take a break and everything and like he had to figure some things out with himself because his ex-girlfriend claims that she was pregnant by him but they weren't together and he said like this is like four months later that she's saying that they're pre she's pregnant so he she's just crazy like he just said she's just crazy and everything and that she's just pregnant and everything i'm like okay well do what you gotta do you handle that so i don't want to be a part of that or that or whatever so yeah basically he handles it and he comes back and he said well basically she was never pregnant or whatever so that's what it is so i'm just like this half crazy so yeah, go back to me being at my friend's basketball practice. So, I get this text message from a random number, and she was like, um, well, I didn't know it was a girl. It was like, Sierra? And I was like, uh, yeah, like, who is this? And she was like, I'm gonna say, what am I gonna call him? John Tavius. I'm gonna call him John Tavius. Okay, so, this is John Tavius's girlfriend and I'm like bro like who your girlfriend um I'm John Tavius's girlfriend and she was like we were texting and she was like no he told me you were just some random girl that he met up there because all the girls up there are thirsty and they be coming on to him and I'm like I did not even approach this guy like he can't the only reason why we started talking because he was pressing me out to talk to him and like be his girlfriend taking me out and all that so that's a lie he came on to me so he needs to stop my, anyway he needs to stop lying so I'm like uh, no that's not what happened and she was like yeah I figured because the pictures that was on Instagram I found your Instagram and it didn't look like that you were pressed like it looked like y'all were like you know, happy and together and everything. And I was like, wait, I'm putting two and two together. I'm like, are you the ex that got pregnant or whatever? And she was like, yeah, uh, but I'm not his ex. And I'm like, he told me he, you were his ex and that you weren't really pregnant. And she was like, no, um, I'm pregnant or whatever. And I'm just going to try to work things out with him and everything like that. And I'm like, Kudos to you because ain't nobody got time for all that. Like, I don't, you can have him. I, I apologize and everything because I was like, I didn't know he had a girlfriend because I was his girlfriend. So he was just having two girlfriends and having his fun and everything. And I was just like, um, I'm sorry. Like, I apologize because I was like, I didn't know he had a girlfriend. Like, I'm not like that. Like, I'm not a homewrecker. So I was like, well, you can have him. Y'all can try to work out things or whatever. And all that. Yeah, so I would let her, you know, do her work that thing out or whatever. So I'm just like, are you serious? Like, I the crazy part is, is like, this was my first time actually getting cheated on. Like, you know, me and him were together for like 
six months or whatever so it wasn't really like a, a super long time but it was my first time getting cheated on I was just like uh uh no he didn't like are you serious so I'm just like I wasn't even mad like that's the crazy part about everything like I was kind of just numb to the whole situation like I didn't have no emotions and <laughs> yeah I didn't really have no emotions about the whole thing so like it was yeah so I basically I told my friend and she was crazier than me like she was like mad she was like uh uh like F him da 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 like we about to tell him about himself like he ain't this that and the third like she going off and yeah, if I say that, then everybody's going to know what I'm talking about. So, no. Uh, so, basically, she, uh, well, actually, no, I'm going to just say this. So, she was dating his friend. Yeah, she was dating his friend, and they were best friends or whatever. So, she was like, well, you know that, you know, if what if he doing that and he doing that too? I'm going to make sure. Da, da, da. So, like, but first of, first of all, she was about to curse the girl out. She was like, snatch, she snatched my phone from me and everything. And she was about to curse the girl out and everything. Like, I was like, no, she's not being rude. She's just like really sad and everything like that. She's like, oh. And so, I don't remember, did we call the girl? We called her. Like, we ended up on the phone somehow. And basically, like, my friend, she was just asking like, oh, does... I'm going to call him, oh, Derek. No, whatever. Okay. She was like, oh, do you know Derek and everything? And do, uh, okay, John Tavius had a brother, and his brother would hang out with us too. So his brother, I'm going to call him, um, Michael or something. Okay. So Michael, she was, Michael used to hang out with, all of us like it would be Derek John Tavius and Michael and everything and you know Michael and John Tavius were brothers so they always were together and so like they would hang out with us and everything so she was just asking a girl like oh does Derek like this what is he doing and she was like oh he talks about some girl da -da -da, all the time and the girl happened to be her name so she's like okay that's it so but it was just messed up because it was like, dang, like you hanging out with her and you hanging out with me. Like, okay, that's just crazy about you. So I basically hit John Cavia's phone because we were all supposed to hang out at my friend's house that night because her parents were gone. So, yeah. But we didn't. Anyways, so we were all, it was just about to be like a little party or whatever. So basically she, we, uh, I hit up. John Tavius and I was like delete my number don't hit my phone no more don't text me I will delete yours like we don't you know that's what it is like we don't got to talk no more like and he was just confused like he was like why was going on I was like I, I found out the girl's name and everything like that and he was like whoa so then he calls me and I'm just like I'm like no you don't need to talk to me no more like you don't gotta lie like your ex who is not your ex like da, da 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 and he was like no she's just crazy I'm like so how she get my number she's not crazy like I'm not stupid how does she get my number and so I asked her she went through his phone and he changed my name in his phone to a different name and she like figured it out or whatever like this girl wasn't stupid like whatever she was just kind of dumb for a stand with him still but whatever so i'm just like okay well bye and he's like she's tripping so that's when he called he keep calling and i'm ignore his call so then what was the Derek? okay that was his name Derek. he basically calls my friend and was like and he tries to get through to like my friend and my friend Kirkin on him like your friend ain't this that and the third your friend ain't this did just don't talk to her like she cursing him out everything and I'm just laughing cuz I'm like dang you being crazy to me okay so basically <laughs> this is what I did because there was this other guy that liked me but I wasn't really like entertaining him because I had a boyfriend like I wasn't paying attention to him like but he really liked me so we went to this basketball game 
that day where he happened to be at and we went there the day yes the day I broke up with him because if he ain't worried about me I ain't worried about him you know whatever I ain't no hoe like I ain't do no hoe stuff or nothing but anyway so we went to the basketball game and the boy that like me you know I drove so the the boy oh lord my mama yelling at the kids but anyway so the boy that like me we basically all went out on like a date like well yeah that was like our first time meeting and hanging out so i was just like f john tavius like he want to go do this that and the third with his ex and all that so he can do that so i had my fun with um I, i'm meeting somebody new or whatever and it was just crazy because i was so numb to everything like it just was like almost like nothing happened like i just forgot about him at that moment so like we all went to this place where was it what is it called um Gino's yes we went to Gino's and I don't know if any of you guys know what Gino's is but basically that's where McDonald's got the Big Mac from it's like this thing called Gino Giant and yeah it was basically, it's basically the same thing and we went there we all like ate and everything and my friend wasn't cheating on her boyfriend she was just there because we were together and stuff like that so we were just whatever and she was encouraging the whole thing because she was like f him so basically we were all supposed to hang out later so that's what that was so fast forward the story so we're all at my friend's house and that night mm, that night her boyfriend had came over yeah her boyfriend had came over or whatever and I'm sitting on the couch chilling like I'm texting the new boy I just I just met I'm texting him cuz I'm like okay like you know I'm I'm single and ready to mingle like whatever like that 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 relationship was destined to end like it was so unhealthy like it was y'all I can't even begin to tell y'all how unhealthy that was so and I already like suspected that he was cheating on me or something because it's just the the person he was and my mom didn't like him like she didn't want to tell me but that she didn't like him but I could tell that she didn't like him and just all that stuff so it was just like I was already like prepared like I was already mentally ready to just leave him or whatever so <sighs> my friend is there with her boo thing and i was sitting on the couch and my friend and her boo thing is in the in the kitchen and then guess who walks in john tavius yes john tavius walked in looking stupid like like he just walked in the door no I, i'm so stupid like this happened so long ago y'all John Tavis and Derek walked in together and my friend and me looked at each other like are you serious like cuz we didn't know that John Tavis was bringing Derek we just thought Derek was coming out by himself but John Tavis he decided to invite himself inside so when he walked in me being the petty person that I can be he walked in and I said hey Derek and he thought he was gonna get a he was he thought I was gonna waste my breath over him. No. He didn't get no hello. He was like and he gonna get smart like, oh so you you not gonna say you not gonna say hi to me and I'm like looking at him like I'm still ignoring him. He was so mad I was not paying him no mind. Like he was one of those guys like that he was so used to getting what he wanted. Like he was used to like leaving the girls and he was used to like every like body flocking over him but I was never the one my mama did not raise me like that I will never ever beg for no man's attention like that's not what I'm gonna do and you're not gonna treat me like I don't I'm not anything to you so yeah so no that's what we got about to do anyways so I'm sitting in the living room on my phone texting having a good time getting to know the boy that i just met while john tavius is in the kitchen sitting at the kitchen table just making a whole bunch of racket like he's sitting there like his i think he called somebody or his man's called something his man's called him or something and he was like don't you 
don't you hate when somebody try to impress their friends and they showing off their friends and they trying to act hard and stuff like he's basically throwing so much shade at me and i'm just like how are you about to throw shade at me when you the one who cheated and you got your ex pregnant how how so yeah so i was just like um I'm just ignoring him, y'all. I'm so calm because everybody that knows me, like, knows if I'm really, if I'm mad, I am very calm. Like, I'm just such a calm person. Just leave me alone. I'm quiet. Minding my business. I'm te I'm texting the new boy and he need to buy his and he need to leave me alone. So my friend starts getting furious. She was like, she not, she always act like this. I ain't influence her to do nothing. Da, 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 like, you better get, Derek, you better get your friend. You better get your friend. And I'm quiet. I don't say a word. Like, y'all, I really was so quiet because I'm just like, okay, like, he's doing all this for what? Like, he's not about to get my attention. So, she, um, he's like, yeah, like, girls think they so hard like people don't you hate when people think they so hard they try to act all hard and try to impress their friends and they trying to act like this that and the third like just talking so much crap y'all to on the phone and so my friend gets heated and she get in his face like she like like she in his face like finger pointing everything and he like Derek you better get your girl you better get your girl and I'm just like y'all I was in the living room like just sipping my tea, minding my business, cause he don't got nothing to do with me. He ain't, he ain't mine. No, he ain't mine. He ain't my nigga no more. So, anyways, so he just, oh my gosh, he's still talking. So y'all, like, let me tell you. First, he's uninvited in her house. Two, he cheated on me. Three, he cheated on me, and he's talking crap. While I'm really not doing anything, like, I'm not one of those girls that be making a big old scene and acting all crazy and everything. Like, I was chilling. Like, I didn't burn up nobody's clothes. Like, no, I don't do that. Like, I leave. Like, it's simple. So, ooh, I'm on my bed. But, so, I'm just like, it just, this goes on for a cool, like, hour. It feels like it was a long time. And he said something that ticked me off. Because I was just like, yo, I'm like... I'm really being cool right now. Like, you're really, like, you're really trying me. Like, I'm really being cool right now. And so, like, y'all, I don't know what I did. I, I, I hopped up like a flying monkey, and I flew in that kitchen, and I started going at it. Me, I was in his face, like, you got me effed up. Like, you got me real bad chopped. Like, no, like, you about to get, like, these hands for real. I was ready to go. <sighs> y'all so yeah I hopped up like a fly monkey and I flew across that room and I'm in his face and I'm just like you you got me messed up I'm sitting here quiet you talking all this crap nobody doing nothing to impress nobody you just don't know me like that I, I, can, I told you if you play me I'm gonna cut you off that's what it is I said you got the nerve you're in here uninvited and you're talking like and he's just like talking mad crap y'all like he just is so conceited y'all I really hate that I really I do not I cannot take arrogance I do not like arrogant guys and he was so arrogant and he was ignorant like he was just so rude and he's just like so I was like I should bang you in your face right now like I really should like he had y'all I was like my temper I don't know how much somebody can take like how much can you take like I know everybody's gonna be like oh you shouldn't put your hands on nobody but y'all like there's only so much I can take I really was not talking crap to him I was so quiet and he was being so rude after he did me wrong like I don't get it so I was like, I'm going to punch you. He said, do it, do it, do it. Don't tell me to do it, because I'm going to do it. So I cocked my hand back. I was like, and I was like, and then all I know is Derek, big tail, flew, like, he flew and grabbed me and put me against the refrigerator and was like, calm down, calm down, calm down. And he told John Tiffy, he was like, you need to calm down, too. And I'm like, no, F him. Like, I'm I'm behind him, like, no, because, like, I'm just going crazy. He's like, calm down. Like, everybody needs to calm down. Like, he was just, like, the peacemaker and everything. And I was just like, I actually kind of think, I'm I'm thankful that he grabbed me because I know if I would have hit that guy, 
I would have not stopped. Cause once I'm mad and once somebody takes me there, like I cannot stop. Like I'm, I'm, I get really like, you have to really take me there. Cause I really don't be putting my hands on people. Like people that be might watch this might think I'm crazy. Like they think I'll be crazy and say I'm a fighter. I'm really not, y'all. Don't listen to nobody. I'm a lover. I don't be fighting people. I'm so nice, you know. People just be testing people and everything. So I'm like, you're a grown man. Like y'all, he was older than me too. Like, he was grown. Like, you're a grown man. Like, you need to grow up. I was like, you're a grown man. Like, if you wanted to talk about it, then you could have just asked me and we could have talked about it. And he was like, all right. I was like, okay, well, we can go in the back room and talk about it. So we went in the back room and we talked about it. And he was just like, you didn't hear my side of the story. Like, shut up. So he tells me his side of the story and everything. And I don't even remember because I wasn't even really listening to him. I just wanted him to leave me alone. So, he told me his side of the story, and I was just like, liar, 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 liar in my head. Like, he's like, stop rolling your eyes at me. I'm just like, I'm just looking at him like, okay, are you done? Like, are you really done? Because I don't got time for this no more. Like, please be, just be done. So, he's just like, he keeps talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and I'm just like, okay. He was like, so what do you want to do? Like, I he was begging for me, y'all. Like, he was like, I really want to work it out with you. Like, I don't, I don't care about her. This, that, and the third. Like, she's probably not even really pregnant. She's crazy. This, that, and the third. And I'm like, but you still cheated on me. Like, I'm, I want to work it out. Anything. Like, I'm. Just, he's just talking. I'm like, no. I'm breaking up with you. Like, we're we're done like we're not getting back together you disrespected me there's only so much that I could take and y'all this was my breaking point because before then like I already wanted to break up with him but this is just like God was telling me clearly he had to like put something in my face to like be like okay you need to leave this man alone because he's not for you so yeah I basically broke up with him and he was just sad for the rest of the night and he left and then I continued to get to know this other guy and yeah and fast forward like a lot of months and stuff like that I was like this guy like I deleted his number and everything and I guess he got a new number I don't know I could have I could have swear I deleted his number and like y'all I was like on a date with somebody because like you can date around and I was single so I was like I was like on a date with somebody or whatever and this y'all he called me I, I lied to you not like 12 to 20 times like he back to me and I'm like who is this number and I called and I answered it like the 13th time or whatever and I'm like who is this and he was like it's John Tavius like I really miss you what do you do I'm like this is months later y'all and I'm just like he's like I messed up Da, da, da. like I know I wasn't the person that I should have been and I'm like get off my phone and I hung up and he calls again and again and the guy I was on a date with he was like um who is that like and I told him and he was like do you want me to answer the phone next time and I was like yeah so the guy called again he answered the phone and he hung up he called my best friend y'all he called my best friend and everybody can know her name her name Ebony he called my best friend y'all I don't even know how he got her number. He called her. He was like, I'm going to go to her house. And I'm going to, like, he was going to pull up at my house and bring me flowers and stuff like that. And she told him not to do that. She was like, no, don't do that. Like, she told him no. I was just like, yeah, thank you. And she was like, he called her a lot, too. And he was like, I, I don't remember if she said he was crying or something. But he was just, like, crazy. He was crazy, y'all. And I'm glad he didn't come to my house because my daddy wanted to kill him. My stepdaddy wanted to kill him. My mama didn't like him. My sister didn't like it. My brother, oh, my brother especially didn't like it. My brother is very protective of me. Like, he doesn't even want me to, he does, um, he does just not wants to let me live. Like, he's, you know how older brothers be. He's really protective. So, he didn't like that. He was like, you want me to fight him? I was like, no. Like, it's not worth it. But, yeah, he was still trying to get me back for a long time so yeah that's the end of the story about how my ex got his ex-girlfriend pregnant